Welcome to the e-learning platform by Science Park. So today our session is getting to know India. It is from 5th standard and it covers chapter 11 and 17 from SSC board. So today we are going to see the part 1 of this session. So let's see what are we going to cover today. So first we are going to see the variation in climate that is variation in rainfall and temperature in India. And then what are the effects of these variations? Then we are going to see about shelter. What are the uses of shelter? Why do we need them? Then the variation of shelter across India. What are the ill effects of urbanization as we see a lot of urbanization is being taking place in India and what is the concept of eco-friendly house. So friends, now as you are aware of maps, you can see a map of India. Now this specific map shows us the variation of rainfall throughout the year, right? And it is called as India annual average rainfall map. Annual means throughout the year. Average means all throughout the year, whatever the rain falls, this is the average of that, right? Now, as you can see in the map, the portions with dark blue areas are the ones who receives a lot of rain or they are the places of heavy rainfall and the portion of light blue color receives very less rainfall throughout the year. So you see a lot of variation. Okay, if you start from top, see in patches there are places of heavy rainfall and then places of low rainfall and as we go towards Rajasthan, towards west, you see portion of low rainfall and in the middle portion of the country, you know, it is medium. Then again, if you come towards the west coast of India, then you see portion of heavy rainfall and similarly, if you go towards northeast, you will see all the states receive very heavy rainfall throughout the year. Right. So similar to rainfall, we here have the map of average temperature. So as you know, temperature and rainfall depends on the geography of the location, right? So if you go towards north in the hilly areas, the temperature is very low. So you see the patches of violet color. Yes, yeah, so they are of low temperature. And as you go towards south, the temperature slightly increases. Okay. So this is the variation of temperature. So friends, now we have seen the variation of rainfall and temperature. So my question to you is, what are the effects of these variations? What happens if all these things vary? So mainly the effect is on food, shelter and clothing. Right now, how the variation of climate affects food, shelter and clothing. Now, for example, if you are living in hilly areas or Himalayas, the temperature there is pretty cold, right? So, of course, you need clothes, you know, which we usually wear in the season of winter, right? Woolen clothes. But as you go towards south, the temperature increases and you don't need woolen clothes. You need soft white clothes right so this is the variation and of course you know the, due to the variation of rainfall and temperature the food which is grown there also differs and also the type of shelter so in this part we are going to concentrate mainly on shelter so you know when this word comes in our mind shelter usually we see a picture something like this but nowadays in urban areas in cities like Pune, Mumbai, Delhi we all live in tall buildings and apartments right okay so we are going to see 
the uses of shelter so main use is for shelter we need shelter it's a resting place you know after a day of hard work we need a place where we can rest so the shelter provides this then it also protects us from various elements such as rain it protects it protects against wind cold and against wild animals so now we are going to see the variation of shelter across india so this is a blank map of india now the picture on your left is a shelter type of shelter called as house boat a house boats mainly are you know located where there are big huge lakes one such example is yes in srinagar you have dal lake now this is mud house so as you can see this how types of houses are mainly located in desert areas of rajasthan where there is very less rainfall and these mud houses also helps them to maintain the temperature inside the house now these are roof tiled houses as you can see the roofs of these are slanted they are made like this because you know when rain comes down the water doesn't get accumulates there it just falls down so naturally these types of houses are built where there is heavy rainfall then we have stilt house now as you can see you know below the houses there is a lot of water being accumulated so these types of houses are also built where there is heavy rainfall and chances of floods like in assam then these are the typical houses which are built in plain where we have a terrace on our house where we have a place surrounding our house right and in modern and in modern cities we live in buildings right so this is the variation of shelter across india now as we have seen lot of people are moving in cities so there are a few ill effects of urbanization one is quarrying so we are using the natural resources to build uh, the apartments so uh, you know due to quarrying there is soil erosion we cut down lot of trees so there are a lot of pollution is happening then we extract sand from river beds and that is also very harmful you know we extract a lot of ground water you know it is very precious natural resource we have and it is very limited and of course cutting of trees Uh, which is also very harmful for the environment so now you must have heard many places eco friendly house now what exactly is eco friendly house we'll see the characteristics of that so basically it uses the natural resources it doesn't use the artificial resources like cement concrete and they also use non exhaustible resources like uh, windmills solar energy you know whatever the water is being used inside that home is being recycled to you know use less water recycling of garbage mainly of wet waste that can be also used as a manure and it is constructed such a way that you get maximum natural light and ventilation throughout the day right so friends let's summarize the session so firstly we have seen the variation in rainfall and temperature in india and their effects mainly in food shelter and clothing then we have seen the uses of shelter then the variation of shelter across india ill effects of urbanization and eco friendly house 
so friends here are some questions so kindly pause the video note down the questions and write the answers to them thank you